Hey, happy 2023 and welcome to Royer's Corner's first moment of the year. For everyone in the building, please remember, hit that like button. If you like the conversation, join in in the conversation in the comment section and then hit that subscribe button if you like what I'm talking about. And if you're going to subscribe, you might as well what? Hit that notification bell on all. That way you can see each and every video I post. I got a nice little story for us today. Um, I would say more so of a learning lesson um, and probably a little mess too. So who are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about how far is too far. And I think we know who has learned their lesson. Who is that? Mr. Slaughter Vance. Slaughter Vance is the son of actor and actress Courtney B. Vance and Angela Bassett. Now Slaughter is 16 years old and Slaughter has a TikTok as most 16 teenage and going up in age do. And um, Slaughter decided to join a TikTok trend. Now, um, I think the TikTok trend that he decided to join was definitely not the route to go, but I'll let you be the judge of that. The Shade Room posted a video earlier last week of what Slaughter did. And so I'm gonna show you that video cause I feel like I'll be able to, you'll be able to get the point better if I show you versus me telling the story. So here is that video, okay? I'm gonna pull this up right here on my iPad and I'll let you guys watch. Wait, mom, dad, did you hear Michael B. Jordan dead at the, at the age of 35? Now, this went viral all over TikTok, all over social media, and it caused a big scurry, a big problem. And so Slaughter ended up having to go back on each of his social media platforms posting this video of an apology to Michael B. Jordan, to his family, and to anyone that he has harmed because of this video. Now, they did post that apology, and I will play that for us as well, okay? So, uh, uh oh, sorry. Sincerely, I'd like to apologize for the Michael B. for taking part in such a harmful trend. I apologize to Michael B. Jordan's entire family, his extended family, and him directly as he is an idol of mine. And taking part in a trend like this is completely disrespectful. I don't wish any bad rem ramifications of this, of my actions upon his family, nor my parents as they deserve none of the backlash. And I, I own this was a mistake and I hope this can be a teaching lesson to anyone else who uses social media as a tool and a source of entertainment to to, to truly understand that your actions can have consequences that extend beyond you. I apologize for any hurt that, that my actions may have caused my, Mr. Jordan or my parents or any anyone else who could have been involved in this. And I am truly, truly and sincerely sorry. And I apologize. Thank you so much for your time. So Slaughter does delete the video of the uh, trending TikTok. And he does, like I said, and then he does issue an apology as well. And I I can definitely take that apology and accept it. He seems very sincere. He did seem like he was just doing something very innocent. I think um, he is only 16. And I think at 16, we all of us know we make very irrational decisions and very in the moment decisions. Unfortunately, like I said, this video did circulate and I am glad that he took it down. And I'm glad that his parents and him have the maturity the same way that he got on and made a comment in a video about this is the same way that he got back on and made a comment and apologized to Michael B. Jordan, Michael B. Jordan's family, his family, and anyone that this has affected. I definitely think that Slaughter has learned a very valuable lesson that this is very harmful. Unfortunately, in the times that we live in, this is nothing to joke about. It's never anything to joke about, but especially during the times that we live in when so many people have um, gone on and so many are taking their own um, 
selves and checking out of here themselves. And so I think we have to just be a lot more careful about what we say, what we do, and what we post on social media. Um, as I said, Slaughter is 16. So are we giving Slaughter a lot of grace? Um, are we apolog Are we accepting this apology that Slaughter has gave us? Um, how do you feel as far as Angela Bassett and Courtney B. Vance? Do you think that they are doing a good job raising their children? You know, they do have two children. They have a daughter and a son. Um, and it, this was just, you know, I'm not disappointed because he's a teenager and we all make mistakes. We all do stupid stuff. I am glad and supportive of him coming and apologizing, doing his best to fix the situation. And I applaud him and his parents for stepping up and having him the same way that he messed up going back to fix and make it right. So, like I said, give me your thoughts and, 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 and answers down in the comment section. How far do you think is too far? How far do you think is too far? Um, should he have known better? Do you think he knew better? Do you think 16 is a good age to really gauge, you know, oh, yes, I should definitely do this. This will be funny. Oh, no, this probably won't be too funny. And do we fault Angela and Courtney for his mistake? Even though he's apologized, even though, you know, he's covered the tracks of his mess up, do we blame them as parents? Y'all, leave your comments in the comment section down below. I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you to The Shade Room for this information and reporting this. Um, if y'all wanna go see this, go to The Shade Room's page and just scroll, this was probably like two or three days ago when they posted this. So go check it out for yourself. Um, thank you for following me into 2023. Welcome to 2023. I got so much content ready and prepared for us. I have a very special show coming up this Saturday. And um, me and Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva will be hosting a New Year's show. And it is Royer and Diva 2023 Social with laughter, love, and inspiration. And we have a very, very, very special guest that's going to be with us this coming Saturday at 10 a.m. So mark your calendars. I want you to be a part of that with me and Diva and our very special guest. I know we're going to have a great time laughing, loving, and inspiring one another. Well, thank you for Royer coming to Royer's Corner's first moments of the year. I hope you enjoy this story. Comment down below, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And if you're going to subscribe, you might as well do what? Turn that notification bell on all. That way you can see each and every time I post a video. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Have a great rest of your day and Happy New Year. <laughs> Bye, you guys.